If I remember, I put up a video of the start of the stream where you either didn't have a connection or you weren't around or something. And I put up a video later on of when you uh, missed the arena, the first victory. Okay. Here's the trick. Sometimes it says a video failed to upload, but it actually went to... <laughs> but how can I tell if it's... How can I tell if it was an undamaged upload? <laughs> okay, see the technique here? When he comes in close, he's gonna do a physical attack. It barely does any damage, but I can easily block and sidestep. If he's at a distance, he throws that little orb which I can also very easily sidestep. He does not attack from the bottom or the top, only from the side. Um, there was one time... when I got my practicing down real good here, We got about 80,000 experience from him. And after that many splits, he didn't seem to want to split anymore. I mean, I didn't test it for 20 minutes or something, but... Like, if we're gonna stand around, let's say... If he doesn't split after about five attacks, six attacks, then he probably won't split again. See? He just keeps attacking. But if you know how many hits he takes, it also helps when he splits. You do about five attacks, get his health down, all of his little clones, have the exact same health that he had. So if you get him down to where you need to only hit him with one strike, then each little clone he makes will only require one strike to defeat. So he splits, you immediately kill it, and then you don't have to worry about getting hit by his special attacks. We are at the point in our leveling where this guy is really the only threat. He can do his super powerful attack and stun us. And then do about 2,000 damage. So he can still wipe us out. But everyone else is really simple. Even the last guy, basically it takes between 15 and 18 dragon roars, and he's gone. I had a little error with him, where I didn't time my dragon roar, and we were just running around the arena for three minutes. This, he was trying to jump into position to hit me, and I was trying to jump in position to hit him, and it was doing the auto movement. 
I finally figured out how to cancel my attack, and I learned just at the start of a match, let him come near me, ready to hit, and then use my attack. Just sort of time it a little bit. So, at the start of the match, before anything happens, press my button, use my item, increase my attack power. Let him come to me, and then a Dragon Roar. Dragon Roar, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Okay, he's stunned, so now I'll use my Syrup, increase my MP, and he's gone. So, since I used the item that's going to disappear at the end of the match anyway, I'm pretty much fully healed and ready to go through the arena again. <laughs> I should basically <laughs> do just a mini video on this tip without me talking to you. That might confuse people. But, I mean, that's how easy it is to beat the Arena A rank and to exploit it for a lot of experience. I'm going to save that little clip bit now, though. <laughs> 